but not till after months of Cajun Katie, Pippi Longstockings, Christopher Robbins, Eddie Haywood, and a Pooh Bear, the children's room. Only Pioneer Girls, Magic Rabbits, and Big City White Boys. <laughs> I knew I wasn't supposed to. But I ran into the adult reading room and come across Two Sot, my first black man. I didn't count George Washington Carver because I didn't like peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Toussaint was a black man, a Negro like my mama say, who refused to be a slave and he spoke French. And he didn't allow no white man to tell him nothing. Not Napoleon, not Maximilian. <laughs> Not Wilkes Pierre. Toussaint Louverture was the beginning of reality for me in the summer contest of who my child can read 15 books in three weeks. I won! <laughs> and raved about Toussaint Louverture in the afternoon ceremony was disqualified because Toussaint belonged in the adult library. I cried and carried dead Toussaint home in the book. He was dead and living for me because Toussaint and them, they held the citadel against the French, with the spirits of all dead Africans from out of the ground, Tucson led their army of zombies walking cannonball, shooting spirits to free Haiti. And they wasn't slaves no more. Tucson Louvertour was my secret lover at the age of eight. I entertained him in my bedroom with a flashlight under my covers. Way into the night, we would discuss strategies on how to remove white girls from my hopscotch game, and etc. We were laying in the bed together with Toussaint next to Raggedy Ann. When I decided to run away from my integrated home, integrated street, and integrated school, 1955 was not a very good year for little black girls. Tucson said, let's go to Haiti. And I said, all right. <laughs> and pack some very important things in a brown paper bag so I wouldn't have to come back. Then 